Hello everyone, welcome to Jets TV. Please comment, subscribe guys, comment, subscribe, like the videos. Also share the videos as well if you have time. I want to thank everyone that does uh, watch my videos. It is greatly appreciated. Um, this is going to be my recap of my week six picks. So let's go ahead and get right into it. First game I want to talk about, Colts-Texans. I took the Colts in this game. That got me a win. Colts 33, Texans 28. Um, early, the Colts were rolling. I mean, Andrew Luck, 25 of 44. He had 370 yards uh, throwing the ball. He also had three TDs. He had a bad interception as well. Um, Trent Richardson, 17 carries, 41 yards. He had a TD as well. Um, T.Y. Hilton, who was like the man this game. I mean, he put his stamp on the game. He had nine receptions. He had 223 yards. He also had a TD as well. Early, the Colts were just getting it going. I mean, they were cooking. But the Texans were able to kind of weather the storm uh, behind Arian Foster. Arian Foster had 20 uh, carries. He had 109 yards. He also had two TDs. That just opened up the passing game for them. Ryan Fitzpatrick, 15 out of 23. He had 212 yards. He also had one TD. Um, Andre Johnson, seven, seven receptions. He had 99 yards. He also had a TD. I mean, the Texans, again, were just able to kind of open up just after Arian Foster just being efficient. And also for the Texans, J.J. Watt is just a beast. I mean, he had sacks. He had, you know, he, he got a bunch of hurries. But he also had a defensive TD that really got the Texans right back into the game. And, you know, once that happened, again, they were kind of able to weather the storm. Came down to late in the fourth quarter, down to some of the last seconds. Ryan Fitzpatrick drops back to kind of give the Texans a lead. He gets stripped. Um, and the Colts get the ball back. Boom. Game over. <laughs> um, and, and that's what did it in for the Texans because the Colts at that at that point was just they were reeling they were really reeling J.J. Watt was playing like a just an animal and uh, you know they were just able to hold the, the Texans off and, and get the win so shout out to the Colts for just being able to put, hit that pause button and get out of there with the W and that got me a W as well so thank every Colts fan that watched and uh, also every Texans fan that's in my inbox every Sunday I know you guys are going to be in my inbox this Sunday as well so thank you guys for watching uh, next game I want to talk about Cowboys Seahawks. I took the I, I took the Seahawks in this game. I ain't gonna lie, it's on tape. <laughs> um, and everything I said about this about this game completely wrong. Cowboys thirty, Seahawks twenty three. That takes me an L. Man, let me tell you something. Cowboys defense showed up to play. Cowboys defense absolutely showed up to play today. I mean, they held the Seahawks to nine first downs. That's just third down efficiency. That's just getting stops. I mean, Russell Wilson, I mean, he, he didn't look too great in this game. He had he was 14 to 28, 126 yards. He had an interception. I mean, he had two 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 carries for 12 yards. He had a TD running off that, but everything else was just null and void for them. It looked kind of bad early for the Cowboys, though, because Harris uh he fumbled a punt return. Also, uh, they blocked a punt as well. Um you know, the, the Seahawks were rolling. They got a, a defensive TD off the block punt. I mean, things just things just were looking crazy. And then they were just able to kind of gather it back in and say, no, we're going to kick the crap out of you today, Seahawks. You know, Tony Romo, 21-32, 250 yards. He had two TDs. No interceptions on the day from Tony Romo. I said he would throw a bunch of picks. He didn't throw any. He was just efficient. I also said that they weren't going to be able to run the ball on Seahawks. I was wrong. DeMarco Murray, 29 carries, 115 yards, one TD. I mean, they just did everything they needed to do in this game. Williams, the, uh, the wide receiver, two receptions, 70 yards. They just, they just did every single thing they needed to do. And defensively, they just shut the Seahawks down. Just absolutely shut them down. And, uh, you know, I, my hat's off to the Cowboys. I don't have nothing to say. My lips are sealed. <laughs> Throw away the key. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say nothing else about the Cowboys no more. You know, until next week. <laughs> you know what I mean? But they did their job. Shout out to the Cowboys fans. You guys enjoy this victory, man. You guys you guys deserve it. Um, shout out to the Seahawks fans that's watching me as well. You guys will, you know, just hold tight. You guys will be all right. So thank you guys, you know, for watching as well. Um, that got me a loss in this game. Thank, Just thank everybody. <laughs> so next game I want to talk about, last but not least, Broncos, Jets. I took the Broncos in this game. Sadly, that got me a W. Broncos 31, Jets 17. 
at the end of the day, with this game, I think we just got beat by a better team. Like, that's just, that's just, that's just all I can say. We got beat by a better team. I mean, Peyton Manning, 20, 22 or 33, 237 yards throwing the ball. He had three TDs. We gave up 100 yards to Ronnie Hillman on, four, on 24 carries. Like, you know, Demarius Thomas went off. 10 catches, 124 yards. He had a TD. Julius Thomas, just four catches, 51 yards. He had two TDs. I mean, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, I just we got beat by a better team. Like, we can sit here and talk about all the things that happened during the game. You know, we lost D. Miller in this game for the season. He, uh, he got injured. Uh, you know, the secondary... You know, it was just all over the place. It was, it was just, it was bad. It was, it was really bad. Uh, Geno Smith, 23 or 43, uh, two, two TDs on a day. He had, he threw a bad interception late. Um, Geno Smith was also our lead rusher. He had two carries for 11 yards. That just shows you like what type of day it was for us. Our run game was complete trash, just completely garbage. It, it, it was stuffed early and we just gave it away. We just threw all the plans out. We're just not going to run the ball today. Like, that's, that's just what happened. Uh, one of the long bright spots, Jason Morrow, 10 catches. He had 68 yards. He also had a TD. Uh, Eric Decker, 6 catches, 54 yards. He also had a TD. Uh, he also got got robbed of a, of a catch uh, going into the half. Uh, he's going out of bounds, taps his toes, and it's clear as day that he caught the ball as he's going out of bounds. Uh, they review it because they, they said it wasn't a catch, so they review it. And it, again, it's clear as day that he caught the ball, and they still say, well, ruling confirmed he didn't catch the ball in bounds. I mean, this is this stuff with the refs and us, and I'm not I'm not saying this is conspiracy theory or nothing like that, but we have had some horrible calls go against us this season that has really costed us. Um, but as I said, at the end of the day, we just got beat by a better team. We got beat by a team that just is more talented than us, and they just exploited every single one of our deficiencies in the secondary. They exploited our deficiencies. Uh, you know, our, our, our wide receiver depth is trash. You saw that when they when they were just rushing Geno and Geno couldn't find anybody to throw to in this game. It just it just shows our, our offensive line is terrible. <laughs> Hence the lack of rushing yards. It's just, you know, it's just 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 a game where, you know, it, it just shows you where we're at. Um, and I think at this point, our season's over. Um, as I said before, you know, I think what we need to start doing now is just starting to evaluate talent. Um, we need to see who needs to be here, who needs to go, uh, and where we need to actually get better and what we need to address. Because we're going into New England on a short week. And let me tell you, that is going to be tough. Uh, you know, and and just look into this team and really look ourselves in the mirror and say, hey, we need to do better. And we need to get better and we need to get ready for, you know, next year. So, as usual, guys, go Jets, go Jets, go Jets. I love this team, but, man, it's, it's just rough. Uh, please stay tuned for my uh, picks that I have coming up. And I also want to thank you guys for watching, man. Have a good day. Peace.